it's Alicia. Today I am going to be trying out a new recipe for stuffed peppers. Now this was sent in to me by one of my viewers, Julia. So thank you so much, Julia, for sending this to me. She also sent me a recipe for a cake that I want to try too. But I wanted to start with the peppers because I love stuffed peppers. I actually have a video that I will link up above and down below of stuffed peppers that I do quite a bit. Um, those have ground turkey in them. Whereas these don't have any meat. In fact, the recipe is called vegetarian stuffed peppers, but mine are actually not gonna be vegetarian because I'm gonna be using chicken broth. But anyway, I will link the website down below that has the recipe she sent me, and you can check that out if you want. I'm gonna be following it pretty much besides a couple little changes, the chicken broth being one. But yeah, um, I'm excited to try these. And I love it when you guys send me recipes to try. In fact, I think it would be really kind of fun to do a series of recipes that were sent to me by viewers. So if you have a recipe that you would like to send me to try, I would love that. You can send them to either my email or you can send them to me on Instagram or actually down in the comments, however you want to do it. But if I get enough, I will definitely do a series on viewer recipes because I think that would be a lot of fun. But anyway, let me jump in here and show you what you're gonna need to make this. First off, you're gonna need some bell peppers. Four of them to be exact, doesn't matter what color. Next, you're gonna need some rice. Now, this is one of the changes I'm making. The recipe calls for one and a half cups. I'm only using one cup of brown rice. Next, you're gonna need some broccoli. This is another change I'm making. Instead of two and a half cups, I think the recipe calls for, I am using three. And you wanna dice that into fairly small pieces. Here, I've got a small onion that I've chopped. Here is another change. I'm using less cheese in this to keep the points down. I think the recipe calls for two cups, maybe even two and a half cups. I'm only gonna be using one and a half cups of this 40% less fat Mexican style blend cheese. I love this stuff. Next you're gonna need a couple ounces of cream cheese, one third less fat. Here I've got some Rummel and Brown. The recipe calls for butter. I'm using this instead to again, keep the points lower. And this is just a butter spread made with yogurt. So lower points than butter. Next you're gonna need some garlic, two cans, four ounce size, or actually the recipe calls for four and a half ounce size, but four is the only size I could find. So eight ounces of diced green chilies, a little bit of smoked paprika, salt, and then back here I've got three and a half cups of chicken broth. And again, the recipe is using vegetable broth, which you could definitely do, and then that would make this vegetarian. But that is all you're gonna need to make this, so let me jump in here and get started on it. Okay, so to start off here, First, you wanna get your oven preheating to 400. And then here I've got a pot full of water, large pot, that I'm gonna to bring to a boil because I like to kinda of do a pre-cook on my peppers before I bake them. Um, it just works a whole lot better. You don't have to cook them in the oven as long. I think Julie even mentioned that she found the cook time in the oven not long enough to get the peppers cooked and she actually just chops hers up. It makes sort of more of a casserole out of it, which would work too. But I find that doing a pre-cook on the peppers works really well, and I'll probably just bump the time in the oven up, and then it should be fine. So I've got that going, and then over here, I've got another pot, large pot. I've got this on a medium heat, and I'm gonna add in my Bromelain Brown to it. And that is a tablespoon of that. Next, I'm gonna add in my onions and my garlic. It calls for three cloves. I always just kinda dump some in. A clove is about equal to a teaspoon, so I've got about three teaspoons there, probably a little more, but that's okay. I love garlic. So now I'm gonna just let that cook in there for a couple minutes until those onions start to soften a little bit. All right, it's been a couple of minutes and those onions are starting to soften a little bit. So now I'm gonna add in three cups of the chicken broth, reserving a half cup for later. I'm gonna add in my rice, my green chilies, teaspoon salt, 
and half teaspoon smoked paprika. Give that a stir. And then it says to put a lid on this and allow it to come to a boil. So I'm gonna put my lid on. And then once that comes to a boil, you're supposed to let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes or until that rice is cooked and absorbs all the chicken broth that's in there. So I'll be back at that point. But in the meantime, over here, I've got my water boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my peppers that I've sliced in half and took the seeds out of. Here they are. And I'm just gonna drop these in that water. And I'm gonna let them cook in there for about three to five minutes. And again, this is just to get them pre-cooking so that they don't take as long to fully cook in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let those go for three to five minutes. I let these peppers boil in here for about five minutes. So now I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna drain them and then set them aside. I've got my peppers over here drained on paper towel. So now what I'm gonna do is take a 13 by nine inch casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it with a little cooking spray. And I'm gonna lay my peppers in here. All right, this is finally looking ready. That took close to 30 minutes to get to this point. So a lot longer than the 15 to 20 they said. So now I'm gonna add in my remaining chicken broth, my broccoli, and then a cup of that cheese. I'm gonna reserve the other half cup for the top. And then I'm gonna add in my two ounces of cream cheese. It says to just stir this in here until that cream cheese has melted. All right, I let this cook on low for about 10 minutes because it was looking pretty watery. It's looking a lot better now, so I'm gonna call that good. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill the peppers with it now. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fill these as evenly as possible. Okay, those are ready to go in the oven. And I'm gonna go ahead and bake them for 20 minutes. The recipe says 15, I think, but I'm thinking it's gonna be more like 20. And again, that is at 400 degrees. All right, I let these cook for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna to top them with my remaining half cup of cheese. Just gonna to try to spread this as evenly between the eight of them as possible. All right, now I'm gonna bake them for an additional five minutes or until that cheese is melted. These are done, they smell delicious. So now I'm gonna just let them cool a little bit before we try them. Okay, I've let these cool down quite a bit and I'm gonna have my hubby try them. But first I'll go over points on them. For one of them, they're gonna be six points on green and blue and just three on purple. But if you wanna have two of them, like my hubby's gonna have here, it would be 11 points on green and blue and six points on purple, which isn't too bad. That's a decent amount of food, really. So we'll have my hubby try it and let us know what he thinks of them. Okay, go ahead. The peppers definitely got cooked. They smell good, huh? Mm hmm Well, that's fun. <laughs> Are you trying to not get it all over in your beard? Now, you do some sort of... Stuffed pepper? No casserole oh. with rice and chicken and broccoli, don't you? Uh, I have way long time ago, but I do a, a quinoa that you're probably thinking of. That could be. The the filling reminds me of it. Yeah. Which is really good. With the it, cheese and broccoli and. Yeah, and then I like the. Uh, that subtle sweetness of the pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those are 
Six points piece or two for 11 on green. So. I'd need both those for 11. Okay. I'm going to eat both of those. You are going to eat both of those for 11. Yeah, I think that's worth it. So you think they're good? Uh huh. All right. Well, thank you, Julia, again for the recipe. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but I'm sure I will like them just based on how they smell. So thank you again, and thank you everyone for watching, and we will see you on the next one.